Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite <clears throat> Edward G. Robinson impersonator, Gardner the Linux Gamer. <laughs> This video is brought to you by my amazing 153 patrons over on Patreon, without whom this show would not be possible. And I want to give a special shout out to Matthew Irvin. Matthew, your support is truly humbling. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps the show out. If you want to check out the show over on uh, LBRY, you can check it out. Beta.LBRY.TV slash at the Linux Gamer. Uh, I really love the work that they do over on LBRY. And uh, the show over there is totally decentralized. You can download it. You can do whatever you want with it. It's pretty cool. So check it out. Guys, guys, we have the Libra 5 release date. We have the Libra 5 release date. Yee! But there's a catch. So if you're not familiar with the Librem 5, hi, this must be your first time on the channel. Welcome. But for those of you who aren't familiar with the Librem 5, let me explain. The Librem 5 is an amazing project. It's a, uh, it's a fully Linux phone. It cares about your freedom, it respects your privacy, and it is fully open source. This device strives to comply with the uh, Free Software Foundation guidelines. It, this is a truly, truly exceptional piece of tech, and I can't wait to get this thing in my hands. So back in September of 2017, the, the Librem 5 actually had a crowdfunding campaign. So the campaign was created by Purism. Uh, they're a, a well-known and respected uh, hardware manufacturer. They, they have Linux laptops that focus on uh, privacy and security. Uh, their, their hardware is tamper evident. Uh, they have hardware kill switches that disable uh, the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth and the cameras and the microphone, um, which is really cool. But now they're actually working on the Librem 5. So back in uh, September of 2019, uh, the Librem 5 phone Kickstarter campaign was announced. Um, and I signed up within the first few days of the campaign because I thought, hey, this is an excellent idea. And to be honest, it was an idea that I had been kicking around in my head, but I didn't have the skills or know-how to actually realize but they do, and we are about to reap the fruits of that campaign way back in September of uh, 2017. Originally, the target for release for this project was February 2019, um, but they missed that target due to several factors, not the least of which is that uh, it turns out designing both hardware and software is a labor and time-intensive process. <laughs> So in a blog post over on Purism's website, Todd Weaver, who is the founder and CEO of Purism, announced their iterative approach to shipping the phone. So September 24th, we're going to have uh, the Librem 5, or at least some of us will, uh, because the way they're rolling this out is a bit different. Now there's going to be several production runs of the Librem 5 phone over the coming months. Uh, they're gonna be released in batches to uh, customers who signed up, who pre-ordered the phone. At this point, the, the internal hardware of these devices is quote, basically done. I've been told that a couple times uh, by several different people that I know at Purism. And the biggest changes between the actual batches is going to be like the outer case of the phone and the switch caps, uh, not to mention the, the software that comes shipped with the device. Now, of course, the software is going to be uh, continuously updated. And uh, so obviously that's not a huge factor. Let's talk about this. Quote, due to high volume, growing demand for the Librem 5 and in the interest of openness and transparency, Purism is publishing a full detailed iterative shipping schedule. This expands on the existing commitment to start shipping in quarter three by defining specific batches, their features, and their corresponding ship dates. Most companies keep their release and product plans secret right up until mass production launch so they can avoid publicizing any setbacks or delays. But we have decided to bring our community and customers along for the ride for the Librem 5 journey, and we have been transparent about our progress from the beginning. This means that you will be able to celebrate along with us uh, every milestone that we have reached, like shipping our dev kits in 2018, the NXP CPU silicon issue that we had over to overcome, uh, placing our first call in early 2019, sending our first SMS, and you've been able to track our software progress directly from our public code repositories and watch live updates to live handy, Fosh, Chatty, and the rest of our software. And we are compliant with and submitting for the Respects Your Freedom certification from the Free Software Foundation. We will be contacting each customer to confirm their shipping address, which modem and power supply they would like, and to confirm which shipping batch they are currently scheduled to receive, 
and to give them an opportunity to select a later batch than they are scheduled for, should they prefer to wait for a later iteration. As slots in a particular early batch free up, we will open it up for others in a later batch to join in according to the date they ordered. So, to me, that says that the earliest folks to pledge their support for the Leave'em 5 campaign uh, have the option of getting the earliest models. So what are the primary differences between the iterations of the hardware? That's a question that I've seen a lot of people asking, and I've seen a lot of misinformation about uh, on social media specifically. So. It all starts on September 24th with Batch Aspen, as they have termed it. Uh, Batch Aspen is the initial board run, all hardware included. Uh, it includes uh, individually milled cases, which fit loosely together with varying alignment and unfinished switch caps. They're handcrafted, according to their blog post. The, the software has the core software suite, uh, including the ability to manage contacts, web browsing, pure OS store, but it's managed through the terminal. Um, and it has early power management. Um, now, to me, the term individually milled cases makes me think that these cases are made of metal. Um, I really haven't heard of plastic being milled. <laughs> uh, but this is highly speculative on my part, so take that with a grain of salt. Then we have Batch Birch, which ships October 29th through November 26th. So this batch features the next run of the board and all hardware included, uh, the same uh, mechanical design as Aspen, but with tighter fits and improved alignment. They're also setting milestone goals for uh, their software development that coincide with the batch releases of the Librem 5 phone. And with this release, they will have uh, improved software setup, web browsing, and power management. Then Batch Chestnut is going to be released December 3rd through December 31st. So the phone will include the same case as Batch Birch, and it will have capped switches with final setup, improved browsing, improved power management being shipped on the phone uh, from there. Next up, we have Batch Dogwood, which is going to ship January 7th through March 31st. This is going to have all the hardware uh, as part of uh, the previous iteration, plus more refinements. And the software is going to ship with core app improvements, additional applications, and a refined graphical pure OS store. Finally, in Batch Evergreen, which is going to be quarter two of 2020, we're going to have molded cases and LTS software releases. So quarter two of 2020, that's not that far away. And the term molded cases makes me think of plastic. So this is all speculation on my part. I'm just reading the words that are on the blog post here, but it looks like the early versions of the Librem 5 are going to have a metal case that are individually milled and the final evergreen version of the Librem 5 is actually going to have a mass produced uh, plastic mold injected case. That's just speculation on my part, though. I could be wrong about that. And then what I find very interesting about this, and in the, for the sake of transparency, they are actually talking about the next iteration of the Librem 5 platform. Uh, they say in quarter four of 2020, they're going to have a 14 nanometer next gen CPU version, uh, version two of the case, and lo another long term software uh, release of the Librem 5. This is codenamed FUR. Okay. There are some people online who are upset. <laughs> and you know what? Honestly, this wasn't my expectation, but I backed the project because I trust Purism to deliver. And if they really think that this is the best course to realize the Librem 5, well, then I trust their decision. But is this the most ideal scenario? I don't know. Also, look at these gorgeous pictures. Holy cow. So I reached out to people that I know over at Purism, uh, Brian and Todd over there, and uh, what they had to say was very interesting. So I, asked, I got to ask them a few questions. The first one is, how does someone get signed up to receive Batch Aspen, or whatever batch they're actually going to get? Now, their response was interesting. Basically, what they're going to do is they're going to contact every pre-order, and they're going to say, hey... We need to verify your shipping info. Uh, we want to make sure that we get you the right kind of modem uh, if you're in the U.S. or in the, you know, the rest of the world. Uh, we also want to make sure that you have the right charger for your region. And uh, this, is the, this is the batch that you're signed up for. And uh, if you want to change it, let us know. So they're sending an email. People will first be sorted by how early you placed your order. And then people will be sorted 
uh, in uh, by how quickly you actually respond to the email. So I asked what the reason is for doing this, the, uh, the release in batches like this. And I was told that most companies actually do production run batches um, and they don't, but they don't make it transparent or obvious. I mean, think about like, think about how many versions of the uh, fat Xbox 360 there were uh, and how, like, if you know anything about like modding an Xbox 360, you'll know that there are tons and tons of hardware revisions, but they don't make it obvious at all which ones are which. But they also said that this approach allows them to get feedback between each batch. And that's really cool. It's in the spirit of open source. And I think that that's awesome. So then I asked, why would someone want a batch Aspen versus a batch Evergreen? And I was told that the internal hardware is basically done at this point. After batch Aspen, pretty much the only difference is going to be the external case. So these cases are not low quality, as some people have said, and as right, as some people might have interpreted from the, the, the terms used in the blog post, loose fit, varying alignment, unfinished switch caps. So from just from my interpretation of that, I would think lower quality. But from what I have been told, that's not what they meant. I asked about the term looser fit, and I was told that it has to do with waterproofiness <laughs> and how seamlessly the front and the back marry to each other. Um, but I was assured that no matter which version of this you get, you're going to have a good case. These are individually milled cases. They are not low quality. Uh, they are not the final mold injected versions. Uh, they're not the mass produced cases that the final version will have, but these versions are probably gonna cost the company more money. And finally, I asked the meaning of uh, 14 nanometer next gen CPU when it came to batch fur. Uh, I was told no comment beyond the Librem 5 as a platform and there will be the kind of compatibility you would expect from a platform. Okay, I think that, that is perfectly legitimate. I, and the fact that they are being open and transparent about uh, the Librem 5 development cycle, uh, the Librem 5 release cadence for the, for the phones, that they're tying the software iterations in with the phone releases. I think that that's fantastic. Now, I can understand that some people would be upset about this because my expectation originally, when they said quarter uh, three of 2019, I thought, the final version of the phone was going to be shipped, but um, it, like I said, it takes a long time. It takes a lot of work to actually develop this, and you know I can't blame them. I'm going to straight up tell you I'm going to opt in for either Batch Aspen or Batch Birch. I'm not sure yet which I'm actually even going to qualify for. I'm not sure where I fall in the in the pre-order uh, lineup. But I'm going to opt for the earliest version of the, the Librem 5 that I can get because I have been assured that these machines, the sh device that I get in my hand, will not be some half-assed quality merchandise. This is going to be uh, excellent quality. And I think the biggest difference between these production runs of the Librem 5 is going to be the software that actually ships on them, and that's mutable. That's totally changeable. So I'm not a cynic. I'm a faithful guy. I believe uh, that Purism is doing what they believe is right for what for their product. So I'm going to trust them on this. Um, I'd love to know what you think because I've seen some hot takes on this and uh, I want to know where you guys are at on this. So let me know in the comments. Uh, you can also hit me up on the forums, forum.heavyelement.io, and let me know what you think over there. But I think that's going to do it for this video. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support the show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon or on LibrePay. There's a link in the description. You can also support the show with uh, buying a t-shirt over on Teespring. There's a link down there as well. Uh, but no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, The Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.